Eriwo ya Ayako Ayato Eriwo ya Ayako Ayato Ayaje Ayamu Eriwo Ayako, ayato, ayaje, ayamu, o meri wo simpe. Iba, oludumari. Oba ate, rere ki aye. Iba ati ojo, iba ati orun. Iba le oge fiko yeri. Iba umila leki, iba kwa umila kutu, iba kwa umila kosi. Iba akoda, iba sheda, iba oba risha nife. Iba obalu ni ni fe iba oluye foshu ibo di mi olu o ni abigba iba ifa famila iba olu shola akere do olu iba arba lo ki fe iba ya wonju eje iba egungun iba baba iba yeye iba lofi ogun fun mi nire iba boku awo iba oju gona iba omo duduwa lo tun lo si arira ko so aye pere adegoro gorokun e fa ti mi wa ye din ye din ye din ye din iwa e fun 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 iwa pele ni re popo ni re popo iwa e fun 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 iwa pele ni re popo ni re popo iwa e fun 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 iwa pele ni re popo ni re popo ni re popo iwa e fun fun iwa e fun e fun fun iwa e fun iwa e fun 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 lotun iwa e fun iwa e fun 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 lo si iwa e pele iwa pele era arira iwa pele arira iwa pele kusu ni re popo ni re popo ni re popo asa re o e se wa re pere wa wa e fa feri pere 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 o para ko ji ti o mo le ti kun ko da ni ye de fa fun le se pe pe o mo so da ni fe ko pe ko jun na ka wa ba ni la ko ka ji bo pe ko pe ni se ni dare we dare we di fa fun ese o dara ti o mo sha la ru ese o dara e won so ni lo de a se o a se wa le o a se wa le pere 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 Akpon bi ako, ako bi ako, akpon 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 akpon, ako ko wale, ko ko ko, na ko 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 kra, ako to file, resile, tu kire ni eki, on pa ya pa, kunle o, kuwa poto, kunle o shek pala pala, oni le o kuwa poto, kunle o shek pala pala, ako re le me da da na sipa da igi da igi da sipa da na ja, kuwi, o me na kambu, re o je, o ju kuwa je. Omo bebe, nuzi kun kun akale si, nuzi ane kiri titi beni kore je o, wana nuko mo ba, orumi la shoko, nama rere aje, aje ni bani, pena ya akiba orumi la shoko, nama rere aja ni bani, pena omo akiba orumi la shoko, nama rere omo mo ni bani, pena ile akiba orumi la shoko, nama rere ile le ni bani, pena ishin akiba orumi la shoko. Kena ma re re e shin e shin la o ma gusha o ayama ubi e shika kolo ba ni ni fa e shin la o ma gusha o ah shi le o pale 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 Iya bamu bamu, lakun inu ikba. Oro bamu bamu, kokun inkun akpa lakpa. Ti afun ele ma je yi. Ti yo kere age je. Ebo nou ni ko wa she. Obe ko rupo. Kokpe ko jena. Ewa ba ni ni che putu ire popo, che putu ire popo. La ba ni le she obari sha. A se o, a se o wale kpere, 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 kpere. O sa she, o bi she. Oche se bon, bon roko do, 
bi fa fun o nile ti omi eyi tola yo ma ro eje bi fa tin ro baba la oko pe kojina a se o a se wa le o a se wa a se wa le pere 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 a ti o so a ti okun o se tere ni won po bi lo de ketu a jan lawe ni won po bi lo de ilawe won ki won omo ti wa won yo ti ofin po won ki won o memu wa won ya mu na di o se o won ki won omu omi tutu wa won ni ha 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 ipa ji lenu mi lo ifi ipa yi lenu mi to ire o ifa fun ko logo ti yo tenu ipire ebunu ni ko wa se o pe ko rupo oni ko logo tenu ure ure ko logo ki o ure ta je ki o re ta ya ki o ure tomo ki o re ti re popo ki o mu ta iku ki o fi pelu re ko logo lenu ure ure o ase le o ase wa ase le o ase le wa ese wa re pere 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 ilu belu peru awo ilu ipo pelu ilu pelu peru awo ilu peru elu peru 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 awo ilu elu peru 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 awo elu peru so tun ko so tun pa awo elu ka afumi dan were were sele awo ile alakole meshi ya fun orumila ifa nsawo lo sifa ajate ifa ni yo buyo si o ase le o ase wa re pere pere pele 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 ase wa ase wa le o ase wa le wa se le pe 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 abowu aboye abowu abo sise agbo ato so de guru fun this is a babo person wo if i could the father ero ah uh, come to you live and direct <laughs> how are you so i want to come up and speak to everybody uh please give some hearts some love share like follow and of course if you like the content if you want to hear more of the things you hear and want more insight to these things as well please feel free to um contact me first and foremost through my uh profile and then you can also give me um a DM me and give me your information and we can exchange information in that way as well. If you are on um, WhatsApp, contact DM me and so we can build on there as well. Um, but definitely come back to me if you feel the need to. Um, definitely open up that doorway to give in a way that is respectful to the information that you receive. So, let me just go through here real quick and make sure that I do not um, forget anybody one way or the other, right? Because, you know, a lot of things came up when I was doing some other things. So, I want to make sure that I am not forgetting or not seeing certain things from certain people that are coming up. So if you want to come in and speak, definitely do. But the only people that can comment are those that are, A, that are um, specifically uh, members that, sus that subscribe. If you don't subscribe, you cannot comment. And that is how I am going to do it from this point forward. I've been doing that, but definitely from this point forward, it's very important to do that. 
get caught up in a lot of the other stuff. All right. So, what do I mean by the topic? Iwa fun fun, iwa e fun fun fun. Iwa pele fun fun, iwa i pele, ire popo, ire popo. Iwa pele. Iwa is good character. It's character. Iwa pele is good character. So that's why I actually started with that specifically. Because it's good to understand specifically, we think of good character. Now, you may think of that as somebody giving something to you, right? Or that uh, you you are giving something to someone else. But sometimes good character, fun fun, of the healer's path, of something that is pure, that is unshakable. Does that mean that you don't have human faults? Of course not. What does that mean? That means that once we are able to truly see what these things are in everyday life, not just in um, in our waking state or our pretentious state even, sometimes we get lost in the loop of um, seeking to make greater insights to things. But when we really think about fun fun or purity or whiteness, whiteness not in a, in the form of skin tone. That's why I say e fun, e fun fun fun, right? Because we're speaking of something greater. We're saying, thinking of something that is so pure as our character. By the way, we know that that, I speak about that a lot. When we talk about our character being the true source, good character, is being our true source of insight, foresight, clear sight. Um, do we only show good character when we see others seeing us? You know how foolish stuff you see on the, um, the social media platforms. Look, I'm giving to this homeless person money. Look, I'm giving food to this person. So put on, right? But would you do the same without anyone seeing you? Would you care if someone were to give you things without any kind of pretension behind it? What does it mean to truly give in a way? And it doesn't mean, you know, fun fun or, or that iwa uh, pele. Iwa fun fun, iwa e fun fun fun, right? Doesn't always just mean that we are also just giving something. Sometimes we're just present. Sometimes things open up in a certain kind of way, and that's why we think of them as giving or receiving or connecting or building with things in a certain way. So when we say iwa pele fun fun, Iwa e fun fun fun. That good character that is it is unsurpassable. That's not seen with the naked eyes. That's felt before it's seen. You ever walk into a room or a place where you just feel so peaceful? Things grounding and calming and cooling. Iwa e fun fun fun. So we think of those things in our places in life and how we place ourselves in that life or in that light. Sometimes we lose track of what that actually means, why people mean what they say or don't mean what they say. Sometimes those things are given to us because we um, want something in return. Or we seek something in return from something that is not necessarily something that we are or that we, we, we have or we've given ourselves. We may be given very minimal and seek greater than we give. 
what does that mean really when we say we want pure, unadulterated, good character? We seek to give that. Regardless. Regardless of any tradition or religion or, or practice or anything like that. The basic common respect is that pure, unadulterated, Why fun fun fun? And so, what does that mean? How does that function? Now, iwakbale can be many things in many places, in many spaces. But what is it actually? What do you seek it to be fully? In our lives and others. And you think about that, and we think about what is true. character is it something that we seek to show be expressed without words or actions all the blessings of the earth come from those things. But what's realistic, really? <laughs> That's a good question. Right? What's realistic to be in these times and where we are in this life? Is it realistic to be of good character in these times? And so many people are trying to be shy with you, right? Is it good character just to be only showed with people that you like? Um, is a good character only show those attributes for people that you um, may uh, have disdain for? What is good character? Is it regional? Is it cultural? Does it come up in one way for one people and another for another? Good character as a whole. Can it be shared? Should it be shared with others? Do you give yourself whatever without ever seeking something in return? Who are you really in this life? Are you a good character or are you just a character that's seeking things like a leech unwillingly seeking only to survive or willingly only seeking to survive to take the essence of someone leeching from someone If that someone doesn't give something to you, do, does that mean that they're showing bad character? These are questions that I think about all the time. These are things that I, I think sometimes we get caught up in, in things, people, places, spaces, uh, avenues of life, things that we seek to accomplish or deal with in our life. Uh, people that we seek to encounter or connect to in our life. What is it? Let's get some feedback on that. Now, because I know generally I talk a lot. <laughs> so I don't want to talk too much. This I am going to talk, obviously, in this live. But I want to talk more so to people. Because I think it's really important to get that um, feedback. Not necessarily because I want you to expose yourself in one way or the other, but feedback. Feedback in the course of what does it mean to truly trust people? Is to be trust trusting or too trusting a mark of Iwakbele? Many questions that we can ask and go forward to. 
What is it that we are actually seeking in our life? Who is it that we want to be in our life? Are we looking for people to give things that we aren't willing to receive? Because <laughs> that happens as well. So let's go through that. I'm just trying to see who's here. Who wants to come in? Unique. Tarot. 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 Unique Tarot 444. If you want to come up, you can, definitely. I appreciate those roses. Um, because I like to have conversation, all respectful conversation is what I like to have. This is important. Ah, Abo Raboye. Hello. Hello, how are you? Ashe. Did you... Did you did you uh, hear the the title or the uh, the topic today? I had just caught it. Um, I just had caught it a couple of minutes ago, and I seen it was only subscribers only. So I just went ahead and subscribed because my um, spiritual journey is Ifa. Um, I connect a lot with um, Mama Yaya, Yemiya, and uh, Oshun. Well, really, all of them. Mm -hmm. But that's who take care of me. Definitely. That's a beautiful thing. Where are you from? I'm from upstate New York, Rochester. Okay, 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 okay. On the East Coast. It's cold out there right now. Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah, it's cold. It's, it's mixed. <laughs> I don't know if it want to be warm or cold. Right, right, right. I'm coming from uh, California. So I'm on the West Coast. Yeah. Oakland, California. I can't yeah. wait to get there. Yeah. <laughs> so when I say Iwa e fun fun, what's the first thing that comes to your mind? Iwa. E um, first thing that comes to my mind? Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, what is that movie uh, with the blue people? <laughs> the I'm thinking about talking? the tree. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, 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 okay. And I think the tree was Iwa, right? Or something like that. So in Yoruba, Iwa is character. Uh-huh. Iwa Kwele is good character. Iwa, say it again. Iwa Kwele. Iwa Bele. Kwele. Kwele. Okay. That's good character. So when I'm speaking of Iwa Fun Fun Fun, speaking of pure character. Yes, I heard that. So when that comes into play, so I so I hundred percent I you know, I, I, this platform I always like to talk to a lot of different people from many different lineages, that's what I call it. Right? Um I myself was initiated in, in Nigeria, um, but that doesn't negate anything else. I just say that because usually when I'm speaking, I'm speaking from that, that platform or that, uh, that lineage that I came from in Nigeria. Okay. Doesn't discount anything else. I just, that's when I, I, I speak. So, but if you are bringing another, other, uh, lineage, speaking about another lineage, that's fine. Just as long as we're respectful. That's what I always say. Mean like um, like how some people are Cuban or, mm -hmm. I'm I'm trying to understand what you mean by lineage, like um, like people so practice Ifa. Of, so when we think of um, uh oh, somebody I cut off. What happened? Oh. Okay, so when we we speak of the Yoruba people, generally people think of it as a one dimensional way, right? Right. Um, but truthfully, when we think of Yoruba and then the 16 kingdoms of the Yoruba people, and then the kingdoms underneath the kingdoms underneath the kingdoms and so forth. Right. So that also includes Igbo people because they have Dibia Afa. 
the fun has fa. Okay. The essay called Afa from Togo. The ga have Afa or derivative thereof. Right? The Edo people call it Iha Awega. Right? And so the two that I use, so I, I'm a Babalao Ala Bigba. Most people don't know what a Bigba is in the diaspora. But a Bigba, so when I say Ala Bigba, Baba, Babalao Ala Bigba, that's a Babalao that used the tool of a Bigba. So a Bigba is not an Okwele. A Bigba is not a, a Ikini Fa. It's older thereof. Okay. It's or Odu that come up in Abigba instead of one in the surrounding Odu. So anyway, that being said, um, I say those things because it's always good to understand that there's many ways. If I, it's infinite in scope, there is no one uh, size fits all. Mm -hmm. Like some lineages say that women cannot get initiated to Ifa or become an Ia Nifa. Whereas in I know within the lineages that I've been associated with, that is not true. It doesn't make any of these lineages wrong. It just means that there's certain things in certain lineages that because the things that went forward in that lineage, that stopped it from being so. Right. That's what that means. Okay. Anyway. Um, are you familiar with, with uh, Abigba? No. Abigba? Okay. Are you familiar with, you said Ifa, you are, are familiar with Ifa. Um, I've been studying, um, like reading. I got introduced to it. And then um, th it was this Spanish lady who wanted to be my godmother. I just lost contact with her. She was telling me a lot of stuff about it. Actually, it's funny because how I um got introduced to the whole thing is um, I'm going to be truthful. I was um, on back page and um, okay. it's like, it's a sex site. Okay. And um, I was looking at reviews, like, you know, they review you to, to say whatever they want to say about you, you know, okay. review you. Mm -hmm. So my name was Ocean, but okay. I spell it like Oshun. So when I went to look for the reviews, when you when you spell it, spell it for me. What what kind of what's the spelling? O S H U N. Oh, okay. So it's phonetic. Okay. So when I went to look up the review, all these beautiful pictures came up. Okay. Of Oshun. Mm -hmm. So that's how I got introduced. I don't I don't know if that was like my ancestors or whatever. But that's how I got introduced in that world. And I just went from there. Well, I do want to say this, though. Um, Ashun, most people put her in this hypersexual, hyper whatever, right? But she's a nurturer. She's a mother. Right. She's, right. she's like the amniotic fluid in the womb. Mm -hmm. So her code or her principle is to create. It's a creative. Right. I say that just because a lot of people associate her with some. Yeah, I heard um, somebody told me um, the reason why she came to me because she was like the keeper of prostitutes. I don't know. I heard that Not before. <laughs> Not at all. Not at all. And I didn't get that from her though. Yeah. Okay. I didn't get that from her, but I've heard. I've heard different. Um, I've heard different stories about all of them. Okay. So I'm just basically, you know, whatever resonates with me, mm -hmm. then that's where I go. But I read them all. Like, um, what is it? There's, um, what do they call it? Um, oh my God, I can't even think. Okay. So you got different ones, I guess, where, um, I can't even different think of the name. <laughs> like, um, Orisha, you mean? You're talking about no, not the Orishas, but like you know how the titles, the titles like um, like you could be in one group, this group or that group, where you have a title. 
I'm trying to think of the name. Oh my God. Okay, so. so are we speaking of, of traditional or are we speaking of diaspora? Um, okay, so you know how you're a Bob, you say you're a Babalawa, right? Yes. Okay, so they have um, people who, um, I guess, is like dark. They call it dark um, religion. And then you have the Christian like um, part of it. Yeah. You you understand where I'm going? So, so when you say dark, what does that mean? Like, I guess these people are more into dark magic. So, so first and foremost, you know, I, I, I don't mean to keep coming back with things. I just so that the, the, the point of this, the thing and is to make distinctions on what specifically people are saying, because there's so many different things, right? And derivatives thereof. So it's always I always try to make sure that people understand the the connection that what you're talking about specifically, right? So when we talk about because I, I, I do come from a traditional perspective, when we talk about uh, dark, dark is not negative. No, it's not. And so when we talk about dark magic, um, most people associate it with things that are um i cannot think of the name it is killing me of, of like you know <clears throat> witches or whatever whatever the case may be right so but most people when they speak of a lot of things that they, they, they there are a lot of mixtures or hide podges of a lot of things uh -huh. so we have to be very careful on what it is that we seek to do that's right. why I always ask, and, and this, this this is literally no disrespect to anybody. I just say, what lineage are you coming from? Because then I know exactly what that means. Oh, I right? don't know what my lineage is, to be honest with you. I'm, I'm in a process now trying to figure out, like, it's crazy because I just told my mom, like, I don't know nobody past my great grandmother. Mm. And that's crazy to me. So I'm in a process now to see like, you know, where my family roots come from. Is it Nigeria? Is it uh, Native American? What is it? Well, let me ask you this question. Have you ever, okay, dark is simply the deeper parts of life, birth, death. Exactly. We talk about that all the time, Cunting Woman. Uh, <laughs> she, she's a regular. That's why <laughs> she's speaking on that like that. Uh, so I'll, do you understand, or I don't understand, do you know, because I, I never want to assume that you do or do not know something, right? You may know, you know, may know about it. Do you do you understand or understand the word ori? Ori. Ori in. Uh huh. Have you heard that before? Yes. Okay. Do you know what that is? Ori is like uh. Ori is something in you, right? So there is ori, and then it's ori inu. So ori itself translates to the head, physical right, head. Right. 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 Okay. So. What I was explaining with that is like when you're born or when you're um, going through the initiation, then you get an ori, like the person on your head. Is that is that correct? So your, your, your ori, you are born with. Right. Right. So there is no distinction between your ori. Your ori, ori inu, there's different parts of ori, and that's a lesson. Okay. That's, that's, that's a... Well, that's why I stopped by your channel. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's and why so I stopped by your channel. <laughs> and those things come in when people physically train with me. Okay. Right? We go deeper into those things. So here I, I'm, I'm speaking about it in a way so that there's a lot of misnomers. A lot of people throw a lot of stuff out there and a lot of things convolute on the internet and everything else. So I try to make sure that people understand, okay, these are the things that people may sound like hocus pocus halomatosis. But in reality, this system is is a, a science, right? Because it's a traditional science. Because what's the definition of science? The definition of science? Mm -hmm. uh, I never think about that. Think about it. Come back to me during the course of the conversation. Okay. But science, right? So one definition of science is the study of our environment and right. how it affects and how we are affected by it. Right? So we study the things that are in our environment, plants, animals, seeds, 
organisms, microorganisms, quantum, whatever, right? We study our environment. We study things that are in it so that we gain a better understanding ourselves. Right. Okay. I got right? you. That's one, one definition. So it's many, obviously. So when I speak of it as a science, and take it out from that, that scope of hocus pocus, halomatosis. Right. Because people love sensationalism. Uh-huh. So when we speak of Ori, <laughs> right, exactly. I think it was them. If I is the original supercomputer, exactly. Uh, so when we speak of Ori, Ori Inu is your source of everything that you are. You don't get Ori. You don't receive Ori. Ori is something that you are. That's your true self. That's your soul, fate, or destiny okay. that you were born with. Right. Have you ever heard the term Isheshe? Isheshe? Mm hmm No. That's the word people love to throw around these days. I say so Ashe. Uh, that's, so that's, that's a little different. So okay. Isheshe, Isheshe is your father, your mother, and they're both lineages. They're, they're ancestors, right? Uh-huh. Your Ori Inu in the path that that Ori Inu lives on Earth. So I say that always because people get it all twisted up that, oh, that means that it's a, you know, it's, that just means traditional. No. Anybody on this planet Earth has an Isheshe. Because we all have a, a father and a mother. Right. And then lineages, whether we know them, whether we were orphaned, whether we're a test tube baby, we all have a mother and a father. Right. Because there's no other way that we can create a human being. Even if it's in the test tube, we still need elements that bring these two entities together. And we co-create with those things that are greater than us. In this instance, the owner of all existence or the quantifier of all existence, or Ludumadi. Right? So, because Ifa itself is a great body of wisdom. Okay. Because Ifa is a great body of wisdom, it is also a um, it is the uh, essence of all that we seek to know and that we know. Okay. Because it is the word of Olodumadi. Because people get twisted up that thinking there's many gods. No. There's only one god in this tradition, which is Olodumadi or Eledumadi, some people say. Okay. So that's the that's the creator. That's the creator. And then who's next? So, I, I get them confused. I get I get that part confused. With what? Okay, so like um it will say I will read and it will say that I can't say the name. But Omari Mir Mir? Olo Oludmari. Okay. I mean, uh, you mean Orumila or Oludmari? Which one? Um or, the, the second one. Orumila? Okay, that's 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 the one that's in all white, right? No. You're thinking of Orishanla or Obatala? Okay. Okay. Obatala. No. Obatala. Obatala. Mm -hmm. So the reason why I say that like that is because Yoruba is a very tonal language. Uh -huh. Right? And so when we say something out of tone, we're saying something else. Okay. I'm glad you said that. Opa is a king. Opa Dalla. Like when you say my name, Okwesanwo, Baba Okwesanwo, Ifa Koride, Padaero. That's my destiny every time somebody says my name. O Baba Okwesanwo. Okwesanwo means Ifa is my foundation or my pillar of support. Okwe is the palm tree where the palm kernels or the Ikini Fa come from. Right. Okwesan Wo says Ifa, I was representing Asian of Ifa. Ifa is my pillar of support or my foundation. Okay. Right? Ifa Kuri De 
Ifa brings back abundance of prosperity in my life. Okay. Ifa die, bro. And I, you know, I, I'm not talking at you. I'm just, you know, making connections. I'm right? If I die, bro. If I never dies. Or if I never dies young. Okay. So when we speak of these things, and I, and I, I, I say it like that just because I want to, um, when people hear things, because certain things become cliche. Like when somebody says, I'll share, 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 I'll share. Right, right. Right? That's nice. That's cute. <laughs> uh, but there's, when somebody says, I'll share, when somebody says, I'll share, that's two different words. What's the correct way? So, depending on what you're trying to say. Okay, so. <laughs> <laughs> you see what I mean? So, yeah. it's like that context. Always because words hold potency right word to hold uh clarity so when i say iwak bale good character you come from a from the east coast i come from the west coast right i have roots in other places you probably have roots in other places right right so those things may come and mean different things depending on when you are but then there's a the core of what that means that's that's you know that's why when we say something we want to be sure what it is that we say so for example there may be slang in in rochester that's not in um the new jersey right or philly or brooklyn you may have a few different lingos and you know where a person's from by the way that they speak right, right? <laughs> Oh, fire. Sorry, there's somebody coming. Uh, so that's the same thing. You know, coming from a certain lineage, oh, okay, I, I hear the lingo, I hear what they speak. So that's the, that's the coming from a certain kind of perspective. I was just about to ask you, were you speaking um, Nigerian? Uh, so Nigeria is a place. So Yoruba is a people. Oh, Yoruba. Okay, Yoruba. Mm -hmm. Yoruba. Yoruba. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yep. And so Yoruba people, like I, I, I would say that too, of West Africa. I don't say just of Nigeria. Right. Because there's 16 kingdoms and then in the, in the sub kingdoms of sub kingdoms right. of sub kingdoms that spread out, right? All throughout, not just West Africa, but in, in the Central Africa, in some parts of uh, South and some parts of North. Right. Um, and so that's where that, that dynamic comes into play, right? Um, and that's why I came up, that's why the topic that I'm saying today with the Iwa, Iwa, Efun, Fun, Fun, Ewa, Fun, 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 or Iwa, Efun, Fun, Fun. Ewa, Efun, Fun, Fun. Oh, not to cut you off. I got it. Paolo. Paolo, that's what I was trying to say. Earlier when we was talking. Yeah, Paolo Mayombe. Okay, like, so there's different different um i guess different ways you can follow okay so now that specifically when you when you speak of that i know where you're getting those information from from the diaspora okay right yep so again not i'm not dissing anything i'm just saying i when you say that i know where you're getting that from it is hard because i want to get it from the right source mm -hmm. so a traditional person won't say Palo Mayombe. They won't. Okay. Because it's not necessarily, it's in a lot of research, a lot of things that people see or say may be mixtures of many different things, but we are a mixture of many different things due to uh, the trade, right? Mm -hmm. So, there are things that people, there are a lot of things that people have or deal with that are, um, because the first wave of, well, we want to go way back, but first wave of, of Africans that were stolen 
Okay, no problem so far. Uh, came from the Congo. But at the same time, <laughs> the first wave out of the center of the world. I say it like that because there, there was one continent at one time. Right. So from the center of the world, you still would have, they call it Ile Ife. I heard that before. Because mm -hmm. we have that, that modern day Ile Ife that we see today, but there are other emanations that came before it. Right? But Ile Ife, just Ile is home or earth, right? Uh -huh. Ile Ife. Ile Ife. Mm -hmm. Ile Aye is like the earth. So Orun is heaven or thereof, you know, uh, some things just don't translate well, but for the sake, let's say heaven. Okay. So, ile aye, or ile aye, right, is the earth. So then we think about these things and we start to understand, okay, what are we talking about really when we speak of different aspects or different lineages? Because the original people on this earth, even the Oni of Ife, the, the king of all Yoruba people worldwide, spoke of the little people, or the Twa. Right? Okay. All systems originate from them. They were the first people on earth. There's nobody on this world. So I have lineages. My, so my father's father, my grandfather, comes from the Philippines, an indigenous Filipino, right? That are dark, that are, are black. And then you have, so all of these things in the, all these waves, you start to see how things kind of maneuver and start to spread out because you see these things that always interconnect. Right. On a grander scale, right? So, I say that to say that when we speak of, say, in the diaspora, oh, where these things are, are for the first time coming together and they didn't understand each other's languages. That's not true. Because when they stole a lot of us from, say, if we just say a few people, like the Igbo and the uh, Ekiti, Ijebu, Igala, Ibibio, Edo, Fon, Eve, right? Hausa. You see, those, those are just, those are different ethnic groups, but they, they actually have a, a connection between them because they all have a form of Ifa. Right. All of them. They all have certain things from certain regions. They all have like, subscribe, follow, share. Uh, so they all have all of these things that are connected in many different ways. Literally, it's the same thing. But now you have different lineages that approach it a little differently. Like when I was talking about the tool that I use, Abigba, right? Abigba is different than Opuele. You may have heard that term, Opuele. Opuele, I did. Mm -hmm. Opuele is a divining chain. I've right? heard that in a song I listened to. Mm -hmm. Opuele, sure. Opuele. I can't think of who it was talking about, but yeah, I heard that. Exactly. So Opuele is a divining tool. Now, Abigba is far older than Opuele. Right? Opuele cannot take a bow. You cannot put anything on top of it. It's not a standalone. Okay. Abigba is a standalone, meaning it needs nothing else. It is complete within itself. Abigba. 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 Mm -hmm. Abigba. So, Ifa Abigba. Those things. So, I, I again, explaining those words because many people don't know Abigba in the diaspora. They don't know it. Doesn't mean that this they they lack anything. It's just that they don't know that. Right. There's a lot of youth. I didn't know that. 
on the continent that don't deal with I Big Bop because they don't know it. It's not part of their lineage. My first Aluo, who initiated me to Ifa, did not, it's not part of his, his lineage. Right, exactly. Got the uh, woman. So it also comes from a place, comes from a tree, the seeds of Ikiakpa. Ikiakpa is a tree that kills negativity. Mm. So it does not like to waste time. Okay. It gets straight to the point. It there are a lot of things that are different, but Ifa itself is the same. But it does not waste time. So, for example, you may have seen somebody throw a puede for you, or whatever the case may be, right? They have Ebo. It's different from Ebo to Ebo. Ebo is the offering. Or sacrifice, right? Ebo, yeah, I heard of that. Ebo is different. Ebo is the implements that you hold in your hand and boop, right? right. So, but Ebo is the offering. Uh, what did you say? Um, got me. Is this because of where it's from? The tree that kills negativity? No, no, it's a tree that no matter where it is, so. The whole tree is medicinal. So when you speak of uh, Igiakpa, Igiakpa itself is a tree um, that, uh, that, so Abig, let's go back. Abigba itself, those seeds from Igiakpa, there are Baba Laos that do negative work. Right. They cannot touch it. They, they'll be exposed immediately. I've heard yeah. that. So, with Abigba, I'm speaking of, right? So, with Abigba, if I Abigba, it exposes negativity immediately. Without apology. <laughs> right? So, when we deal with that, we know that you have to be of the highest character and we are human beings. So there's always going to be things in our, our character that may be sometimes out of sync and out of turn, right? Mm -hmm. But we seek to always be of the highest character. We stand on the three pillars. Wisdom, justice, and good character. So today that's what I'm speaking about. Uh, okay, now I get it. Mm -hmm. You say what now? I say I'm, I'm getting it. Mm -hmm. And so that's that's where you know there is no so shortcuts to learning this tradition. Right. There is none. There is information I given today is not secret. Um, but to have a teacher is highly important. There is no getting books and thinking the book will give you any information. Right. That's minimal at best. I definitely Though, need a teacher. Mm -hmm. And so, like, for example, with me, I do not, no one, I, I won't teach anybody until they get uh, if I divination. So if somebody says divination or reading, it's the same thing. As long as you deal with the Baba Lao, which is Baba Niawu, the father in the secrets, or the father of the secrets, or Ia Nifa, the mother of the secrets, or the mother in Ifa. Okay. So, why do I say it like that? Because just because someone has a hand of Ifa, or Kofa, they are not initiated into anything. Right. So, because there are a lot of people that try to, what we call them in, in, uh, in Nigeria, 419s, right? The, the scammers. Let me ask you a question about that. Because mm -hmm. um, I had got kind of discouraged a while ago because somebody, um, you know, I would go and get a leckies and stuff. And I'm like, oh, you can't wear those because you, they have to be given to you and you're not initiated, so you can't practice. 
And I kind of got discouraged because I'm like, you know, like I gave you my story, how I found it. Right, right. So I didn't have no understanding to that. So now again, the diaspora puts a lot of, uh, a lot of attention on Ileke. Like I wear, this, these are, this is an Ileke. This is an Ileke, right? Mm -hmm. Right. But if you are fully initiated into Ifa, unless it comes up in, in, in Odu, and I'm speaking of traditional, mm -hmm. unless you are fully initiated into Ifa, then you see it in the, it's inside of you. So I don't have to wear this. Right. Unless it comes up and says, okay, these are, you wear it for protection or you wear it for blah, 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 right? But having Ileke, and it's speaking strictly from traditional, having Ileke gives you no initiation. It doesn't mean you've gone through any growth. Right. In traditional. Okay. So in the diaspora, there are different things that, again, I've never practiced it, so I can't really speak on it in depth. But I, I understand why these things are sacred in the in the diaspora, because they have to hide it. They have to right. maneuver. They have to do whatever at, at a certain time. Right. Um, in the same way as if someone says, if you're a Ifa is in the house, I mean, if you're for admission, you had like your kini file, your tools that you use, and your house burned down, do you run in and grab your Ifa? No. Why? Because Emmy, that life force or that breath of life is more important than that tool that can be always reconsecrated in an, with another tool. Right. That makes sense. So now, mind you, and, and to your point, anybody, anywhere, you can go online right now and get the colors of any leke, right? Mm -hmm. But that doesn't mean anything. That has no purpose to it. Right. Anybody can wear it, right? It doesn't mean anything because it's not consecrated. It's not for a per specific purpose. Well, so, in that way, what they're speaking of specifically is you can't wear that because you're not initiated. Okay. Now, <laughs> excuse me. Just because you have eleke doesn't mean that the person's initiated or not initiated either. Right. Right? So we always want to be respectful of others, even if we disagree with things. That's my, that's, uh, you know, a la big buzz. We don't argue with anybody. <laughs> we don't have to. Right? Because it's not necessary. So when you, when we think about studying with someone, we always want to make sure that they are of the highest character. So what's the first thing that comes out their mouth? Like, just let's take it out the context of, of, of the tradition, right? Mm -hmm. If you come across somebody and they're trying to fast talk you in the first five minutes, what are you going to do? I'm going to um, research them because I don't like the fast talk. <laughs> Exactly, because you're gonna be like, uh, okay, you you <laughs> you pressing me too hard, right? Right. I'm gonna back up, because I don't know what your what your lineage is, I don't know where you come from, well, and you're claiming a lot of things <laughs> that aren't really true. Right. You understand what I mean? Yes. Because now, mind you, I don't know the EI that you were dealing with because I, I don't I don't know. I don't know. And just like someone, if, if you were to ever get a reading from someone, you say, Baba, this is Odu that I got from X, Y, and Z. Ah, uh, stop. Because that was a, a divination you got from someone else, A. And B, because you got that from someone else, go back to that person that you talked to. Right. Because it's disrespectful that you gave your time, energy, and effort to someone and money to someone. And then you're sticking to pull from the things that I've learned in a different way. You see what I'm saying? You have to be very careful in that way. I'm glad you said that because um, 
I never reached out to nobody. But I would post, like, you know, different stuff that I um, learned or whatever. Right. And this person reached out to me. You know how they reach out to you? Oh, I have a message for you. Da, 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 da. <laughs> That's a red flag in itself, but go ahead. And yeah. So, um, but, you know, I, I let him do his thing or whatever. So mm -hmm. then he's like, um, okay, I'm going to take it to my altar or something. So I'm like, okay, okay, whatever. So then he came back like, well, it's going to cost for me to take it to the altar. So I still, I still <laughs> gave him, I still, you know, all right, whatever. He gave him the $25. So he, he, he texts me again. Like, okay, well now you need a name. And that costs. I'm like, what? I'm like, I'm good. I'm good. I don't, I, don't, I don't need no name. I don't, I don't know what. You haven't gone through a grove. How can you receive a name if you haven't gone through a grove? Right. Right. It was just a lot of red flags there. But this is somebody who said they was a Baba Lawa. I didn't even reach out to him. And right. then it's, it's killing me because it's a lot of Africans. Mm -hmm. so. And Cubans and Puerto Ricans and folks that from a lot of different places. Because you, you think about it now. Uh, and it's really sad. If you come back to Iwa F. Fun Fun Fun. Right, the character. I thought yeah, about that. Like, that. how could they even be playing with this type of stuff? How could you play with God or how you could know you what do a that? 419 is? No. So, a 419 is a scammer. Okay. So, anybody can say anything. Just like anybody can get Ileke online and put them on and say, I am this. Right. Okay, so what is your lineage? Where are you coming from? What are you actually studying? Who are you? And why are you coming in my... So I do these lies, or I might put a story up, or I may put you know, information out there. Now, if you respond to that story, then I respond to you. Okay. But there's no way that I'm going to sit there and hawk anybody. Ever. Right. Now, somebody came on the live and asked me a question. I said, okay, if you want more information about that, don't tell your business online. DM me so that I can give you my number or I can give you this or I can give you that. And then we can go from there if you choose to. Right. But if somebody's coming out the blue and asking you, oh, I've seen you in my dreams and I'm, <laughs> uh, you know, it's such, such, such coming to you and I have the one that was for you. Look at my bling, bling, bling. Look at me. Look at my watch. Look at my hair. Look at me. I am traditional. Right? No. Because any Babalao or Yanifa would never do that. Will never do that. And if they did, they're fishing. Because you didn't go to them. You didn't seek them out. Right. So the fact that you're on the live, you sought me out. Right. Right? Right. So if I say, if you want further insight to a beeper or a divination or whatever the case may be, then go DM me. And then we'll, we'll, we'll discuss it offline. Right. Was, oh, I'm going to give a divination. I'm going to give an EFI divination to you online. Mm -mm, no, why would you want your business out there like that? Right. So somebody looks at this and say, they say, oh, those are dreads. No, we call it dada. Dada. That's different. Because you see this? See how it's coming out of my head? I didn't twist it. It comes out of my head like that. I was born like that. It's a difference. Mm -hmm. So either way, do you have any questions? Offline. <laughs> I love the vibe. I love general. the channel. In general, you know, so you can always DM me, and, and uh, we'll, we'll definitely uh, go back into other things if you seek to. So I just, so when I do the purpose of doing this live is really for general questions or insights to things that are they people may have like wait a minute well, Bob, what do you think about sunset because i got this da, 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 da. what do you think about this so now if it goes to a point that says now nah, we, we need to do that offline right and it gets to that point 
you know, but I always say if anybody wants to gain more insight to Ifa or the tradition in general, definitely DM me. And then we'll speak offline because I'll give you my number. You can call me. So why do I have you call me? Because I'm not hawking you. Right. This is a conscious decision that you make to call me. Mm-hmm. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> I definitely I appreciate you. I definitely appreciate your time. Mm-hmm. And um, I like I said, I do, I do want to learn more, and I do want to know the traditional way. Mm-hmm. Definitely, when you know, if you you um, I do you know these are different topics and stuff like that. So if you do want any other insight, definitely DM me. We can go from there. You can get the. Uh, I can break it down. I always give like a, a breakdown of stuff that. Um, so you understand what it is that an Ifa divination is. Right. Right. Uh, why do I do that? Because yeah, I remember me. when I first got started, right? Mm-hmm. When I first got started, um, all my teachers are from Nigeria, A. Eh? So everything, either when they, either they were here in the States or I went to them in Nigeria. So that dynamic sometimes is hard if you've never dealt with the system at all. Right. So that, that's why you can easily get dumped, duped by these 419s because you just, you're, you're seeking, but you don't know really what question to ask. So when I break down at 13 points of this is what you, you know, can expect when coming to an a big by divination, then you know exactly what you're coming into. Right. There's no like mystery about it. I appreciate that. I appreciate the lady online too. Honey woman. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. So um I will reach out and okay. I subscribe. So whenever you're online, I hope I catch you. Yeah, most definitely. Thank you for coming. I appreciate you too. And yeah, um, thank you for coming up. So so it's unique, Tarot? Yeah, it's Nasha, but yeah, that's my um, okay. that's Nasha. my TikTok name, whatever. That's TikTok there. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thank you, Nasha. I appreciate you for for spending time with me because you could have been many places. I appreciate, I appreciate you, you more, and I'll reach out. All right, thank Take you. Care. Have a blessed morning. Yeah. So we say Odabo, Odabo. which means next till next we meet. Till next we meet. See yeah. You one Odabo. More time. <laughs> All right. Take Stay care. One now. more time. Huh? Stay Odabo. 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 Mm-hmm. Odabo. Exactly. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Take care. You too. Bye. Bye. <laughs> All right. So anybody? Oh, thank you. Thank you, Kanti. I, I appreciate that. Um. Thank you. I appreciate you saying that too. That makes um, I, you know, I appreciate you bringing that forth. Um, anybody else want to come up? <clears throat> Definitely feel free to come up and ask questions or anything like that. So the topic today, specifically, is um, the topic today specifically is iwa e fun 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 iwa kwele nire popo. Right? Or Iwa e fun fun fun. Iwa kwele fun fun. Um, so that pure character, a good character, pure good character. That's what we're speaking about today. Um, and why is it really good to seek out people with great character? What's the purpose? Because you don't want to be duped. They say if somebody's selling you something shisty, they shisty with you first. <laughs> it's true, right? So if that's like somebody, uh, apologies, can I come? Oh yeah, no, I, I understand. I, yeah, I still put it out there just in case, just in case. Um, so those that do want to comment or come in, you can always come up and speak, but. Those who want to comment, you can only comment if you are a subscriber. So thank you for all those that have subscribed. 
Um, Carol, how are you doing? Come on in if you want to. Mm -hmm. what? Um, <laughs> I, you know, my big thing now is always kind of weed through a lot of scammers and stuff like that. So there's a lot of folks that come up and try to come in <laughs> in ways that aren't so uh, good. I put it like that. So definitely drop some coins, drop some love. If you're appreciating the things that are going right now, I would appreciate it. And definitely if you feel the need to, hold on, let me go back in there again. If you feel the need to, definitely I gotta learn how to do this in another way though. Uh, definitely drop some some other coins in other places for you know out of respect. If you seek the need to be respectful in that way. Uh, so if anyone does have any questions, please feel free to ask. Mm. Okay, that sounds like something else. Um, look, whoop, you got go. Oh, you are a scammer. <laughs> so let's get these likes up, subscribe, follow. We need UK need another way as cash that business working from the UK to yes. Oh, got you, got you, got you. Oh, that's right, you did say that. Got about that. Uh, either way, any way that you can do as you seek to do, please do. Um, definitely flowers and coins and X, Y, and Z would be great too. But I know that that doesn't, doesn't really translate or come in in a certain kind of way because, um, I think you pay more than what it is given. Anyway, um, so any questions specifically on the things that I've been speaking about so far. Um, anyone that's here or that wants to come up, please feel free to um, come in. You can definitely welcome to come into the live if you come in respectfully. Now, if you're coming in disrespectfully, I definitely will uh, get you out push you out uh, so either way it goes I'm just going through here and seeing who's here so I can see if you want to come in and ask questions or connect one way or the other okay um yeah so Iwak Ballet um so when I say Efun what is Efun Efun is a traditional clay Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Um, but it is a tradition. Efun is a traditional clay. Efun and uh, yan or salt is both of those things are purifying, are calming, or cooling. So ori to many other things. Right, so when you use these things, so when we say efun, generally it's talking about something that is cooling or balancing out something. Right, efun itself is that's what it's used for, for the most part. Um, oh, sure, want to come in? Come on in. If you want to come up, come on in. Definitely. Thank you. Thank you for the confetti. I think woman, I appreciate you for that. Um, anyone else want to ask a question? This is the time to ask questions. If you want to ask something um, about Ifa or the topic, which is Iwa Bele or Iwa Fun Fun Fun. Iwa Fun Fun. Pure character, good character. Um, yeah, that's the that is the topic today. Okay. So anyone or anything that would like to come in and ask a question, I know sometimes it's hard to come up. Some people can, some people can't. I have to always figure out why that is, but it happens like that. 
I'm gonna be on there for for a little while. I just always ask because I don't just want to be a talking head. I always want to make sure that people have a chance to come in and ask questions because that's what the forum is for. The forum is to ask questions about things that you may have questions about. It goes on how many followers people have to whether they can join or not. Oh, got you, got you, got you, got you. Okay. Okay. I didn't know that. Knowing is half the battle, as they say. So, anyone that wants to physically um, come up or that wants to comment, though, anyone, anyone that wants to comment, you truly have to subscribe. Because <laughs> if you're subscribed, then you're serious about actually um, communing well. You're not just popping in and popping out. That's why I did it that way. Okay. Because it's important to open up that doorway and that dialogue in that way because you want to make sure that these things are um, done in a proper way or done in a respectful way. So when someone comes up, what I found early on is that people come in to troll. It's better that way, less trolls. Exactly, harmony environment as such. <laughs> Exactly, exactly. So definitely like, subscribe, share, follow. Um, subscription comes in many forms. So when you do that, then you actually are able to uh, comment. And so there are other benefits to it as things go forward. If you want to ask or a question or uh, suggest a topic, we can also go there. If it is feasible, uh, to speak online about, meaning I'm not going to speak about any deep secrets online. We can guarantee that. Uh, the things that we are going to speak about are things coming from a perspective that is always respectful, that always is seeking to create harmony between, I don't care what lineage you're coming from. Like I said, I'm coming, things that I speak about generally are coming from the lineage that I come from. And then also from um, not only the lineage, but also the um, from a traditional form. Um, and so that's also that other side. I was getting Baba. I don't know what GTG. Sorry, <laughs> not really good with those. Uh, I have getting Baba. Thank you so much for your time and space. Much love and much respect. Yeah, thank you. Oh, you got to go. Got to go. GTG. No problem. Definitely feel free. You have a wonderful day as well. I know it's, it's late out there where got to go. <laughs> so it was my generation. Huh? <laughs> like, what? What did you say? Onigiri. How are you? Um, if you want to come up, I know you surely can. You definitely can. If you have any specific questions or anything like that that you would like to bring to the table, you can come up and speak. Um, although what I may do as a drive for the subscriptions, I may go in and do a um, open form soon briefly um, because let's open it up a little bit first for a little bit and then close it back down for those that are members okay the subscriptions because those are important but more than those things the other other part of it is to make sure that if you have any kind of questions or anything that you would like to engage with if you had first time for um, understanding what Ifa is, or what the tradition is, or what is Isheshe, or some element of the system. What does that mean? How does that function? What does that look like? Right? Now, I usually take these full lives, well, for the most part, and put them on my YouTube as well. So if you would like to go and check out some of the uh, previous lives, you can always go to my um, profile and click that link to the YouTube because you can see some of those previous lives there okay so definitely feel free to go and uh to my profile and um 
obviously follow um, and check out, you know, those, those other platforms too, because there are a lot of things that I have there that I don't have on my videos and things like that here. That also is what I do. Um, I'm going to start doing these a lot more regularly. I know I've stopped just because I got really busy. Um, and so when you don't see me on here, that's why I'm not here is because, um, I am doing work, you know, and sometimes I'm a one man band. I'm spending time with, uh, elders because there's always someone greater than self. I don't care what position or place that you end up. There's always someone greater than self. Okay. Um, and so if anybody has any questions, please feel free to ask. Because that's what I'm here for. If you have any questions or inquiries or statements or anything like that, definitely feel free to ask. Um, so why do I go through the three pillars? Sure, come on in. Why do I go through the three pillars? The three pillars are important because, because when we speak of any system, I don't even say religion, any system, there are guidelines, there are balancing, there are things that we stand upon so that there is an understanding. So when I say Okpon, Idaijo, Iwakwale, that in itself speaks of those platforms that we stand on, or that, that foundation that we stand on, or that uplifts us, or that guides us, that teaches us in a greater sense. Okpon, wisdom. Wisdom is not something that easily given. Right? When an elder gives you wisdom, whether as a youth, as you being a youth or you being young in a, a system, a seeker thereof wisdom or insight or experience, wisdom is gained by experience. If you take heed to that information, and able to learn from that situation. Or wisdom is imparted upon you by an elder that has experience in those situations. That will aid you to avoid a lot of different things that may disrupt your purpose, a place, a focus. Um, and I think that's really important to realize as well, because when we think about the importance of gaining wisdom. You can't have wisdom without good character. What does that mean? Wisdom and good character are synonymous with each other. Because to have an experience and to, to really take that experience internally and to be able to use that experience wisely to, so that it becomes wisdom, not just facts being spurted out, not just things that are um, pushed on someone for a specific point of time. When we think of justice, or idadjo, Justice brings forth clarity. But how can we speak of justice without wisdom or good character? Or good character or wisdom. It doesn't matter what order you put these things in because these are interchangeable. We stand on these three because it holds us to a higher standard. It guides us down a pure path. It engages us 
on a level that is no longer surface when we are pure of heart, pure of mind, pure spirit. But purity though, we speak of something that's pure. It's not pretentious. It's not seeking to overlord or to push, just like power. Power is not overlording or, or harming anything or anyone. Power is to uplift and develop and teach others. That is powerful. So someone is physically strong, they can be physically weak too, because there's somebody already greater, always greater than themselves, always. If you're only physically strong, right? Because physical strength is limited for time, <laughs> period. Time takes physical strength out of the equation. Because you can be a muscle bound, whatever, but that, that fades with time. Wisdom is something that carry on beyond yourself. So when we speak of wisdom and good character and justice, That may be different things from different cultures, but it just means primarily the same thing. If something has justice, we're talking about balance. It's balanced in all angles, in all dimensions, in all sizes, all, all ways, the heights and the depths. Justice is equal, balanced. So when seeking a teacher, if that person is not balanced, if they're not showing wisdom or good character, then they're liable to do or say anything at any time. It's also important to realize that when someone is human being, as we all are, human, then we're all susceptible to human behavior. So when I say that I know myself, someone says, okay, do, do you know yourself? I know myself up to this point. My Ori Inu is showing me and teaching me consistently on a regular basis. Doesn't mean I know everything that there is to know about me or all existence. My Ori does. I, I am seeking to always to gain insight to things, learning, studying. I'm a bibliophile. I love books. But books only can take you so far. Books can't give you an experience. They can, you can read of someone's experience. But then if you don't internalize that experience and live it in your own life in some form of function, it's just words. Rhetoric is just a way of convincing someone that something is truth. It doesn't necessarily mean that it's truth. It's rhetoric. Makes you feel good. Makes things flow. But rhetoric is rhetoric at the end of the day. If there's no real foundation that's laid underneath your feet, rhetoric is, is useless. Because you're not using this to uplift anyone. You're only using it to either fulfill your own benefit in one form or another. It's rhetoric. Holds no weight. 
is not wisdom. That's why lawyers or anyone that's seeking to convince you of something studies rhetoric. doesn't have to be, or politicians, or whatever the case may be. They don't have to speak whole truths because they're seeking to convince you of something that you may or may not even hold uh, to your own standards. So Iwakwele is something that is sometimes changing from culture to culture. Where I say good character here and now, where I am, where I stand, where I live, could be something different to someone halfway across the world or the other side of the world. But when I say good character, you understand what that means. I'm seeking to show myself at its best. Now, caricature is seeking the highest of self or the representation of self. So though we may have different definitions of good character, we also have to make sure that we understand that good character may change and be arranged from culture to culture. Because my thoughts, actions, and deeds here could be construed somewhere else as something completely different. Like that's why I say words are powerful. So then is Iwakwale flexible? As we're flexible in learning and moving and developing and growing. Is that what Iwakwale really is? to be flexible in the way that I think, speak, and act so that I have a greater understanding of others without pushing who I am on anyone. Because if you have something and you're seeking to share it, if someone comes to you and they come to you freely and you share it with them, that's not pushing anything. They seek more insight to what you have. And that's what I seek to do with this platform is, is if anyone has questions on that or anything that I say or connect to or build from, I'm always speaking from Ifa. And when I'm not, you will know because that's what I would say. So these are things that I primarily wanted to bring forth in a different way, because sometimes we get caught up in um, rhetoric instead of good conversation. Because I can learn something from anyone just like anyone can learn something from me. Humility. I spoke about that before. There's a form of Iwakwale. Because to be humble or humbled, not by saying weakness, because humility is not weak. Humility is the ability to understand and see from another perspective, even if I don't agree with it. Actually, that's the best way to show humility. Because if you don't agree with something and you seek to gain a better understanding of it, and you, you make your cup too full, how can you ever build with anything or anybody? If your cup is full, how can you build? How can you gain anything? Any good teacher learns and teaches at the same time from their own experience. 
from the experiences that they've gotten from an elder, from the things that they seek to uh, develop and grow within self and others. Sometimes that's looked at as ego because you may be talking about from a certain point. But when we speak of self-centeredness, if you're not centered in yourself, who are you centered in? What is good character? What's the point that we, or that place that we seek to connect to within this character? And I may not be on here too long today. I really wanted to engage a little bit more. And um, so if there aren't a lot of people that come up, I'll probably leave at 2.30. My time, which is California. It may be <laughs> 5, 29, 5, 19 where you're at, or 5 something or later than that in the morning. But here in California, it's 2.19 in the morning. So if you do seek to um, ask questions or come in and go through things, uh, within the next uh, 11 minutes. Silent Wisdom. Aboura Aboye. So that's what this is. This is a form to speak, ask questions. Because again, you'll never see me seeking after anyone. If people have questions or they've gone through certain processes with me, then they ask questions, you call me. If I'm calling you, that's to check in. Conversation is the key to development. And growth. So, um, nine more minutes. If anyone is seeking to ask a question specifically or get insight to something that I've spoken about so far, the, uh, the, for those that are just coming in, the topic today specifically is Iwafale or Iwa Fum Fum Fum. Pure character, purified character. <laughs> um, also, I was listening to some of the other lives that I generally do. I go back through them. Okay, yeah, sure. Come on up. Come on up. Um, I'll go back through some of the other lives and that's really what informs some of the topics that I speak about. Uh, I've been on for like almost two hours now, right? Hour and a half, two hours. I'm like that. Um, so I seek to come in from that perspective. If someone is asking questions, I seek to come in specifically to answer specific questions or specific things, right? Um, because if you have questions, then that's how you get answers. So listening though to the questions, understanding what you're asking in the midst of and, and hearing the answers is important. Um, because um, when we speak about Iwa character, Iwa Kwale, good character.
and the purity thereof. What is it that we mean pure character, pure good character? When you seek to learn from someone, it's always good to see what it is that, or understand what it is that you want to learn. Right? Because having a good understanding of studying, I talked about this before in another live. When we study something, we study it whole soul. Or sometimes we study it fringe, right? So because we're seeking to gain better understanding of thereof or what is going on or what the other. When someone studies, It's a give and take, a give and flow, reciprocal. So learning through Iwakwale, grounding within Iwakwale, developing in Iwakwale, when Ifa speaks, it speaks directly. Clearly, fully. When Ifa speaks, it digs deeply. Oh, I see somebody coming in. Okay. If you seek to come up, come on up if you have questions. Thank you for coming up. Thank you for coming in. Uh, those that are not subscribed cannot comment. Um, those that are um, being disrespectful with their comments will be uh, kicked out. Because respect is the most important part of any conversation. Um, soon come, I know I said it before, but soon come the... Um, Big Commerce, I think is the name of the, the site I'll be using. Um, opening up a Patreon too pretty soon, sometime this year, so that I, uh, information um, and uh, information classes. I'm learning more and more about that system itself, so I'm just trying to make sure that I'm um, well versed in what it does and how it functions before I push it out to anybody else. Uh, yeah. So mm, when we think of Ephel, that traditional clay, or Nzu is what they call it in um, Igbo, that clay serve a specific purpose. Sometimes you may have seen it, may not, when people do drawings on the earth, on the ground. Sometimes you see effum and salt. When someone is overwhelmed spiritually, that's used to calm or cool things down, or balancing things out. Um, Important to realize too, when we think of Iwa Wele, and I say Iwa e fun fun fun, we seek to cool and calm and focus our character. It opens up a different storyline or pathway, if you will. Because those pathways that we seek to open up sometimes come in the, gay, in the guise of seeking to have clarity or an understanding. Okay. Father to observer. Okay. Yeah. So when we seek to have clarity, 
action of deeds, of focus. It is never a good thing to assume anything. When we make an assumption, we lose credibility. So if somebody may have a gift, and I say this consistently, somebody may have a gift, but that gift is trumped by Ifa. Because Ifa is a great body of wisdom. Ifa holds the key to all existence. Now, we speak of this tradition of Ifa. Or the word, so Ifa is a great body of wisdom. Or the word of Ulutamari can be said that in that way as well. When we speak of that wisdom, when we encounter an elder, what do we really seek when we seek that elder out? Is it wisdom? Is it clarity? Is it um, insight? Or do we seek to only take, 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 take? Taking, just as in the same way as we receive and that we give, shows the level of good character that you seek or that you use or that you are or that you have. Opening up that doorway and being clear or transparent, as some people say. In my understanding, is good character. Because when something is transparent and clear, there's no room for misinformation and misunderstanding. Because there's always a form to ask or speak. And something is clear. So when we speak of Ifa, Abigba, it seeks first clarity. Clarity first. Because clarity is the foundation of all wisdom. If you're not clear minded, or focused, if, you're convoluted, if things are convoluted with a lot of hype or background noise, then you lose sight of what that means to receive or give good character. Why am I speaking like that? <laughs> because, you know, I, I leave pauses in the midst of what I do because it's good to understand what we deal with, how we deal with it, why we deal with it. Um, when we speak of Ifa, Ifa is not, Abiba especially, is not to be played with ever. And those that seek to play with it only harm themselves. Because Ifa, Abiba, comes from a tree, like we talked spoke about earlier, Igyakba, a tree that kills negativity, that does away with negativity. Igyakba. It's a very powerful tree. Igi is tree. Akba is the tree itself, is the name of the tree. Igyakba. Hmm. Oh, I see something. I'm trying to see what that is right there. <laughs> okay. Oh, so, 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 what's that? Oh, somebody was coming up. What's that? Oh, I thought somebody was trying to come in. Dr. Alicia, alas. Oh, okay. Yeah, so uh, it is 2.32 right now. So um, if you have any questions, 
definitely feel free to inbox me. I thank you for all those who have come, who have had questions, uh, who have come up as guests, who have shared their time, energy, and effort here with me. Because you could have been in many places and spaces. So I appreciate you spending this time with me. Uh, if you have any questions or insights, this is the time to ask it. Uh, if you do not, we will end this soon because I am seeking to uh, go, you know, in, in, in a certain way. So if we, we're seeking to have a conversation, then that conversation will extend and develop. If um, there are none that seek to come in and connect with conversation, then I, I eventually just I leave. Um, so going once, going twice. If you have any questions, please feel free to come in and ask, and we can um, go from there. Nope. All right. So, um, thank you for coming in. Thank you for sharing. Thank you for liking. Thank you for uh, the gifts that have been given. If you do seek to come in, the topic today is um, Iwa e fun 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 fun. Iwa e fun fun fun. Iwa wale fun fun. So, thank you for coming. Thank you for connecting. Thank you for building with me. I will see you soon and more often. Actually, today is Tuesday here, 2.35 in the morning, but Tuesday. So, I'll probably get on again around about 7, 8 p.m. tonight. My time, California time. Um, definitely feel free to DM me in the midst of all of that because there's always um, information or conversation that you can have with me offline as well. If you have any questions about anything that you heard today, uh, about what Iwakwale is, about how and where to contact me for Ifa Abiba Divination, um, and so I was thinking also, um, to expand things a little deeper. Dealing with, uh, if I divination, I was thinking about doing, um, if I beeper divination, um, doing, uh, Ikini Fa divination and then, or if you seek uh, Opele Divination. I can do any, or any one of those. Um, if you seek any of those, definitely feel free to contact me as well. All right. So we'll open up that doorway. If you have any questions, and you definitely can DM me now, and then I'll get back to you. But thank you for coming in. Thank you for opening up the doorway. Thank you for asking questions. Thank you for being here with me. All right. Or double. Okay. Okay.